Hi, I'm Evan Ramston. I'm a black belt under Andre Galvao, an assistant instructor here at Maverick Training Center, Autos Jiu Jitsu Huntsville. This is my sister Julia, and today we're going to show some drills for recovering your daily hip guard when someone's passing it, and then some sweeps and go to off of it. So, first of all, the grip I like to get when I'm playing daily hip is I like to grab the pant with my fingers like this, and then turn your thumb up because it's illegal to do this, but you can kind of get away with a very similar grip by putting your fingers in from the top and then turning your thumb up. So you kind of trap your fingers in the pants. It's like the exact same grip, it's just one you can get away with. So we're playing daily Hiva. I'll just have a collar grip. And a really common way people pass is they'll step over this, like this, and they'll start dropping their knee down to knee cut. And if I wait too long, we kind of get stuck here, where the only thing keeping me from getting past is that pant grip. So, go back. There's a move I can do where as soon as she steps over, if I time it well, I can throw her off balance because the pass just have her hands on me. If I can make her catch herself over here, then her weight's not on me. So playing De La Hiva, she steps over. As soon as she steps over, I'm going to use my collar grip or whatever I'm grabbing to pull and then kind of punch her this way. I'm also going to bring my knees to my chest and kick. So my right foot's hooking right in the middle of her butt. I'm trying to keep my De La Hiva hooking the whole time. If it falls out, it's okay, but try to maintain it. So go one, two, like this. So if my hook falls out, like my ankles aren't flexible, that's okay, but I want to get them to here. And notice I'm picking this foot up too. Okay, so she's catching herself on one leg and two arms. So all the drill is, is now this leg is free to move. Just goes right back to the thigh, and then we just circle back to here. And so same thing again, she steps over to pass. As soon as she does, I do a one to load her up. Two, push her away, and then reset my feet. And then one more time, she steps over. One, two. So if my daily heave hook comes out, it's okay. Here, and then right back. Okay, so recovering daily heave guard is just one option, but when they're catching themselves on the mat, we can actually go into some pretty cool sweeps. So she steps over, go one, two, and then once I have her here, if I can kind of keep her here by really like stretching my foot into her thigh over here, and kind of keeping my arm locked out, pushing into like her chin when she turns into me, you can buy some time for this foot to actually pass underneath here. So it goes from like a daily heave hook around the front, coming out the back. And so we go into, like what I like to do is I like to do a single leg extra here. So I like to really try to keep them pushed away. So I'm going to actually bring my elbow under the foot here, keeping that pant grip. So I kind of shelf it on my, foot, on my uh, elbow. And my foot comes over the top and steps on the ribs. So now when she tries to push her weight back into me, I can actually stretch both my legs into her to keep her stuck. Okay, and this is kind of my holding position to keep her over here. Now when I'm ready to sweep, I take my foot off. I'm going to kick for momentum and sit up like a stand-up technique. Here, I'm keeping her foot balanced here. So I have a pant grip and a shelf it on my arm. And I just pull my foot underneath and stand up. And then the way you finish the sweep is kind of whatever she does. If she turns into me, I can just step, trip, and pass. If they turn their back, you take their back. It's just one option. So again, Really stretch them out with the right leg. My left leg is going to pass through. Now I'm going to kind of bring it with my leg and tuck my elbow underneath. You get here. Then over the top. So I'm kicking into her ribs and I'm kicking into her knee to keep her stuck. And then once I've got her stuck here, come off, kick for momentum to help me get up. If they turn like this, I can just start attacking the back. Okay, just a third option, and there's plenty of options, just like one of many, is to actually take them the other way. So when she steps over, go one, two, get her here. I know that she's going to try to put her weight back on this foot, right? I'm really focusing on picking it up off the ground. 
So she's gonna wanna stomp her weight back. So as she does, I kind of allow her and I'm gonna pull and kick my right leg and throw her over further than she wanted to go. So she comes back and I do this. So I kind of take her further than she ever intended. And this will open up a lot of your Barambolo style attacks because they're on their side already. We've got a De La Hiva hook. We have a grip on the pants, on the collar. So we've already done the hard part, which is knocking them down. And now we can either spin through and start attacking here. Or if that's not your game at all, just come up into a knee cut. It's perfectly fine. So again, I get her here. And this is a compromised position for her, right? All of her weight is over here. So I know she's going to try to step this foot back on the ground. So I let her. I just kick her further than she wanted to go. And either I spin through to like start attacking the back and leg drags and all that, or just bring your knee in the middle. Just go from here to here and pull yourself up like this. Pass.